All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nicky Ducky. This is a new series that I'm going to be doing. It's a new old series. It's an old game, let's put it that way. It was released on the PS4, the Walking Dead Telltale series. Um, I did play through this once before, but it's been such a long time that I don't really remember what decisions I made and how the game went and all the rest of it. So I'm going to play through it again. New series for the channel. Um, I'm going to try and make each video at least one episode's worth long so that it's not going to be too chopping and changing and hard to keep up with and things like that. Drop comments in if you like the decisions I've made, if you agree with them, if you don't agree with them. Um, moving forward, we'll see how the game goes. Like I said, I can't remember the decisions I made when I first played the game. So, The Walking Dead, the Telltale series, Telltale games in general, are kind of a choose-your-own-adventure type thing. If any of you remember those books where you'll get to a certain point and then you'll give, be given an option. Do you want to do this or do you want to do this? And each option will determine the way the story goes. So... I really love this game. I love the Telltale series in general, and uh, yeah, I wanted to replay this for a long time, so we're going to dive right into it, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this kind of video, or if you really enjoy this series, and let me know in the comments what you think, whether you've, uh, like I said, whether you agree with my decisions, whether you would have made different ones, whether you have made different ones if you've played it already, but let's get right into it. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play, as I mentioned in the uh, in the intro there. Let's go, man. I love this game. It's so good. The Walking Dead. So, I'm going to try not to comment too much apart from gameplay. Episode 1, A New Day. I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. So it didn't look like this any oh well. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <laughs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Are available for to then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I <laughs> tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, 
It's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He Jeez. sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. In the this other time... <laughs> So we found out Lee's been arrested for something. Oh, spoiler, his name's Lee. I mean, I, I know that anyway, but we found out he's been arrested for something. Haven't found out what yet. And that he's married. Or was married. from the car during the wreck. So let's get out then. Let's go, Lee. Damn it. I need to drag myself out that window. That gun. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. You know what, officer? Means. Get the gun. It's empty, though. There. Get away from me! Where are you? Oh my God, dude! Eat that. Offers a ten penny. <laughs> Man. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Help! Go get 
Someone! There's been a shooting! <laughs> There's been a shooting. Really? Okay. What's going on, Lee? Let's get out of here, man. Uh oh. You silly bugger. Hello? Anybody? No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Anybody up there? I wonder if anybody's home. Help! Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello? There's something going on. Let's try the door. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help. There's blood in the kitchen all over the floor. That's a good sign. Steps to that cupboard. Guaranteed she's in there. Or maybe not. Nice if I could get some medical equipment to fix my uh, leg. Marshals, that's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Yeah, let's not slip on the blood again. Crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. 
Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. So Clementine. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Heartbreaking. Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> I'm assuming that's Sandra. Oosh. Oh, you idiot. Keep going. I think she's dead. <laughs> wow. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yep. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me.
That's going to look good, isn't it, when people see him walking with a gammy leg? Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Open the gate. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna <laughs> hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... My neighbor. neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Any of those guys, neighbors too? I love the artistic, artistic style of these games too. It's it's like you're playing through a comic book. It's so so well done. Hey Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks it's like you right to be suspicious. There. But come on, bro. Uh, yeah. It's not I've just saved something. the little girl. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. 
What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel. How did cool. this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. So when I first played this game, I, I don't think I was truthful with Herschel. I think I lied. What do we do then? Well, probably. I can't remember how it went, you. but I think it's better to just go well, with the truth this time. He seems to have taken fine. it well. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow. Which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Doo-doo. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. <laughs> Just like that, Clem. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. That's Sid from we Toy better Story. Get going, or we won't hear the end of 100%, it. 100%. I won't have it any other way. That That's is my Sid. my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water Just off like a me. duck's back, you know? Ducky. <laughs> That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! That's not why I'm called He Ducky, makes up for way. it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. 
Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Right then, let's see what's going on around the farm. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. See you. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Seems like those two are getting along. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bikes to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Yep. Uh, I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Let's go, man. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. 
This farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Absolutely. Was up to? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. I told the truth. Go! I'll get my gun! I didn't lie. First choice. I gotta save Duck, I'm sorry. Herschel hates us forever. I mean, to be fair, Kenny could have helped the other guy, right? Not just me, right? I saved his boy and he ran like a chicken. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Yeah, I better have a ride. You owe me. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Can't 
take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here, but it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, <laughs> I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Knock him out. Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will <laughs> find us, and they will Damn. get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you That's and it. her. Gonna have to knock him out. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Not stupidly. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is it's bit- not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, Kenny. Jesus! Lee's constantly getting knocked out, isn't he? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. <laughs> My pills. Um, 
nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. This is a good group, apart from Larry, who's a bit of a dickhead. <laughs> but aside from that, a pretty good group. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. All right, calm down, April O'Neil. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm, nothing. Batteries. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. <laughs> I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Really? Batteries? <clears throat> Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure, let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. <laughs> just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. <clears throat> I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. I can't reach that brick. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? Oh shit. What? 
Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? That's exactly what I'm, I'm saying. saying. He might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up. And... Shut up, Doc. <sighs> Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. It's a combination lock. And that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. <laughs> Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. <laughs> Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Need the brick, man. I can't reach that brick. So tell him to get it. Things like TV, or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. I can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. Well, that's clever. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Was that a harmonica? Everything no, okay? I think it was a mm -hmm. chocolate bar. Um, it's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. You got it, kid. Alright, what's over here? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Alright, we can't go in there. The pills are in there. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help.
What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. See, it's pretty good when you get time to choose. When it runs down, sometimes it runs down really quickly and you have to make a choice uh, really quick too. Um, I'm going to say he's got a bad temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh, yeah, charming. He doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like Ew. you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got the pharmacy? What do you think about all this? What do this? you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. He knows the people who worked here. Did you know anybody here? Yup. Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Right, let's get into the office then. Find anything? Is that his parents and brother? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. Oh no. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. True. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? 
You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Hmm. Food for thought, that. Food for thought, that's all I'm gonna say. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. It's a stick. This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. We gotta clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got in some trouble, but keep that between us. I killed someone, I'm not a bad guy. I'm gonna I say got that. into some trouble and I didn't talk to them for a while. <laughs> this used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. I wonder if I'm supposed to do any uh... first aid kit. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. 
Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? I wonder if there's anything else in the first aid kit I was supposed to use. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. That answers the question. <laughs> Dad, get the remote for that thing in here someplace. In that drawer, right there. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. <laughs> I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out in the street. Right, let's uh, go and get them. The keys are on that zombie out in the street. Okay, let me pick up the stick then. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. <sighs> okay, but I need that stick. The pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was Gotta be he honest, bad? I have to. He was. Right, I need that stick though. I think that's the way I'm gonna get the uh We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. They got their eyes on me. <laughs> hey Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, <laughs> we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so... We ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but... Yeah, they're dead. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It's on your hands, Kenny. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. 
try to let it go. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Right. So... Ha ha ha! Batteries for the radio. Or is that just one? It's just one. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. And then I want to give one to Doc as we well. just need to get... It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Right, then. Um... I think we need to get that brick from outside, but... I need the, uh... Pretty sure I need the stick to do it. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Turn the power on. Mm, nothing. I bet she's put the batteries in the wrong way round. Mm, nothing. Yep. Silly woman. As the unknown you fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Wasn't so hard. 
Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. Mm. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> right, so there's all these dead people. That one's got to be done first, I think. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's going to be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's bored enough. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. We can probably make it over to the RV. Or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Sure, I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Right, let's go this way then. Making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Well, do I smash the glass? No, I don't think so. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. I'm gonna smash the window. some attention. Be careful. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Right. I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. Get down, you dozy bugger. Find a way to kill that guy before he alerts the others, okay? Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That 
was sick. Right, he's dead. I'm not going to roll that yet. I'm going to go there. I'm going to shatter the window first. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Right, now I'm going to go back over there. silly didn't press it fast enough you are dead right <laughs> one down problem now though is we need to trap the guy Trap him. So now we've taken out that one, we can go over there and get the other guy that's by himself now. Excellent. Do him in. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you.
Ush. Rad. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. <laughs> If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn? <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know. That was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just... You know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Made a tough choice. Had to be done. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're a good man. Damn. Tough choice. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Right, I can do that. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. <laughs> You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back at the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. 
Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? She didn't want to live. She would have found a way to end it. I... I guess. You can't make someone fight. We gave her the least painful option. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Right, how am I gonna... Hey there. <laughs> hey there, sweet thing. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Why not, buddy? Let's have a look around. Okay. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. It's doing what locks do. I can't reach that brick. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Really? A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. Oh, dude, come on, man. Go, man. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Just done that the first time. Right, keys quickly. God. Hmm. 
There we go. Holy crap! Run! Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. choice is the news reporter who knows who I am and has got that against me but she's got a gun or the tech guy who likes me as a person and could come in handy with technology I'm not letting 
somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Thanks, Kenny. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Hmm. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hmm. See you, Glenn. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true, but after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Ungrateful much? Damn. I wish I'd have picked her as well now. Dinosaur was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. 
No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Here, let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Uh oh. And that is episode one. Interesting. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! <laughs> There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, whenever I thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. <laughs> no more, please. No more, please. Lee, please. <laughs> Episode 2 Starved for Help. Right. That's it for episode one. Honesty, did I lie to Herschel? You and 54% of players were honest. Who would you save, Duck or Sean? You and 30% of players chose Duck. Wow, most people chose Sean. Loyalty side with Kenny. You and 54% of players defended Kenny. That's good. Uh, gave Irene the gun. You and 47 play. Ooh, most people didn't. Who would you save, Doug or Carly? You and 51% of players chose Doug. I think that's because Carly knows who you are, and she was, uh, that was a little bit too risky to have that information, but in the end of the day, episode one finale, doesn't really matter, because the old man, um, he knows too, so, probably should have kept Carly alive, but that's the end of this one, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.